Today we're making peach jam, and if you're wondering, yes, of course, we're using vanilla. Hi, Rebecca here, coming to you from my kitchen. The first thing we're gonna do is peel these peaches. Now, I might not peel them perfectly. My friend Jenna, she doesn't peel her peaches at all, and she says it's totally fine. I'm just taking these out of their packages, getting the stickers off them, looking them over, make sure they're all in good shape. What I'm going to do is just score the ends here, just with a little X. Then what I'm going to do is just pop them in some boiling water for just a few seconds. And that will be enough to just release the skin. Okay, I'm just gonna start putting these in here gently. I'm just gonna give them a few seconds. Because I don't wanna cook them. I'm gonna pop them in the ice water. Gonna make sure that they're gonna come off. Yeah, that's coming off. Okay, that's good. Now I'm just gonna peel these guys. I'm gonna just throw these um, peels in the sink. They can go in the composter when I'm done. And there we have it. They're all oh, beautiful. They are. They're all peeled and that was super easy. I did get 99% of the peel off them and now I'm just going to cut them up. So I was just thinking about it and I think I'm going to save the pits because believe it or not, this is how you make almond extract is with peach pits, peach, nectarines. There's lots of different fruits you can use and that's weirdly how you make almond extract. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Why not? Right? Another video for you guys. I think that uh, we can all learn something from making that extract. First, I'm going to weigh them and see exactly what I've got. So I have this great scale. It's like my favorite thing. I'm going to change the mode. I have it in set to grams, of course. I'll put it to pounds. Tear that off. Let's see what we have. So we have five and a quarter pounds here. So what I'm gonna do is blend up about half of these, give or take, and make it nice and smooth. And then the rest I'm just gonna mash and leave it a little chunky. Sorry to interrupt your video like this, but if you wanna find out how to win a $500 shopping spree, check out the description below. All right, I blended that up and I've got lots, oh, it's beautiful. But now I need to mash this stuff up. And of course I threw out my masher because it was getting rusty and I did not want to accidentally use it again. So I don't have a masher. I'm gonna just chop it up with a wooden spoon. Okay, I've split my peach mixture into two different batches. This batch is, going, is two pounds and this one will be three and a quarter. So what I've decided to do, and I've been scared to try this, but I'm gonna try it anyways, we're gonna make some balsamic vinegar with the peaches. So it'll be peach balsamic jam. And this one is gonna be vanilla maple. So I think those will be awesome. There'll be vanilla in both, of course, always, but one will have balsamic vinegar and one will have maple syrup. Mm. Okay, so I've grabbed one of my vanilla beans from my jar of vanilla that I have brewing. And I'm going to squeeze out the caviar. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This is the three and a quarter pounds of peaches. And I'm going to put this pod right in there as well. Getting all this off my fingers. I did just wash my hands. I'm going to turn on my stove. I'm going to add one cup of sugar and a half a cup of maple syrup. Mm. And we're just gonna cook this down for a while. I'm gonna continue to mash this up a little bit because some of these are definitely a little too big. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of vanilla here to keep the sugar from crystallizing. Stir that in well. I'm going to let that do its thing and while it's working, I'm gonna get the other pot going. Okay, so in this batch, I'm gonna try it just a little differently. I'm going to, instead of using a vanilla bean, I'm gonna use the vanilla paste that I made. Now I have another video about how to make that as well. One cup of sugar. This was the. This is also two cups of peaches. And I'm gonna try balsamic vinegar and oh, let's hope that this is nice. I think it will be. 
and use one tablespoon. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do two. Oh, I hope it's okay. Maybe not quite two. Close. I'm going to get that burner going. While these are simmering away on low, I'm going to get my jars ready so that I can jar them up. Okay, so there's a little test you can do to see if your jam is ready. I have a cold plate here, a little of the jam, and spread it. There, that's thickening up nicely. I'll test the other one. It looks like it's actually thickening up. I don't have everything I need yet to do proper um, water bathing of these, so what I'm going to do is what's called an open kettle method. I'm just going to fill these jars and I'm going to flip them upside down. The jars are hot, hotter than the syrup, I guess. Wow. Or than the, uh, not syrup. Oh, last week I made syrup, the jelly. So I would like to keep track of which is which. If you're enjoying this video, please remember to hit that like button. Thanks. And now I'm just going to pop these lids on. Now I'm just gonna flip these upside down. I'm gonna leave these upside down for about 10 minutes. Then I'll flip them back. And oh, yeah, that's hot. Hopefully they'll seal. If they don't, I'm gonna be putting these in the fridge anyways. I'm gonna be giving these out to friends and family. So each one will go in the fridge. I'm not gonna get too worried about it, but I am gonna work on getting my water bath canning situation organized. Okay, it's time to test the jam. So I did open this one already and and I may have tasted a little bit of it. <laughs> so this is the vanilla peach jam. And I just wanted to show you. So it's, I was debating making it a little thicker. It's not as thick as I would like, but you know what? That's pretty good still. I put it on toast and it was great. So I'm gonna taste it. Mmm. It's really, really delicious. The maple flavor really comes through, which is great, right? That's what I wanted. So it's definitely oh yeah, peach maple vanilla jam. Almost forgot until I tasted it. This one is the one I use the balsamic vinegar with and the vanilla paste. So I haven't opened it yet. I haven't tried it at all. That was a nice seal. So that's good news too. It was sealed. All right. Again, it's about the same thickness. Could be thicker, but you know what? It's, I know it's the same thickness as the other one, so it's gonna be great. Mmm, it's a very different taste from the other. It tastes balsamic, but I taste like a full-bodied kind of flavor that is coming from the balsamic. Mmm. Yeah, that's a keeper for sure. I would say these are both. Either one is amazing. I think I prefer this one, to be honest. It's it's a little less sweet, but it has a really full-bodied flavor. So that one I'm going to make again. That was delicious. Who would have thought? Balsamic vinegar instead of bourbon. It works. It's great. I love it. So if you like this video, please check out this one or this one. I'll meet you there.